An incredibly deadly attack on a high school was thwarted this week by alert students and cops in Utah. I'm going to tell you why the national mainstream media has told you nothing about it. Alert students and cops thwarted an attack at the Pine View High School in St. George, Utah this week that could have killed more than Sandy Hook, more than the attack in Parkland, quite possibly could have killed more than those combined. There was an explosive device left in a backpack. Now, if that had been detonated in between classes or during a recess or the end of school, it could have killed dozens and dozens of students and faculty members. But you've heard nothing about this. It's been buried in all but local Utah news, some local television affiliates, some light print. Why? Because it was an ISIS-inspired attack. They still haven't released the name of the teenager who planted the bomb. Now, they did raid his home. They found materials consistent with the materials in the IED and the improvised explosive device. But you've heard nothing about this because the culprit in this case was radical Islam and not firearms. See, the mainstream media doesn't have any interest in reporting on a Muslim terror attack inside of a high school. Now, think about how terrifying this is. This should be front page news. If you watch the show, if you've watched my show from the beginning here on The Rebel, if you've listened to my radio show over the years, you know that I say the thing that keeps me up at night when people pose to me, whether I talk about it on my own shows or whether I go on Fox Business or HLN or any of the other uh, various TV shows I do quite often, they ask me as a, as a professional who analyzes this, what scares you? What attacks are you worried about? This one, this one, the low tech asymmetric attack, an attack that doesn't require chatter. In other words, there's nothing for the intelligence agencies, law enforcement to intercept. There isn't a cell of terrorists all chatting with one another and we're picking up the communications and piecing that puzzle together and then receiving actionable intelligence so the operators can take what the analysts gave them and go out and stop the attack. You don't need that for an attack like this. This is one teenager. This is one teenager with some scientific know-how who understood how to go buy certain off-the-shelf materials and build a very deadly, potentially very fatal bomb. But you're not hearing about this from the mainstream media because it's Islam-inspired. It was a Muslim terror attack. Now, they're admitting it was an ISIS attack, but they didn't even need to because the attacker, the terrorist, this teenage ISIS-inspired terrorist, I, I don't want to say ISIS-inspired. I want to call him an ISIS fighter because that's what he is. ISIS-inspired takes the mainstream media's sanitization of this, the downplaying of this, and, and, and enables it. When, when you engage in, in a plot to try to kill dozens upon dozens of innocents, high school kids and faculty members who were doing nothing but going to school and going to work. You're a terrorist. You're not ISIS inspired. You are ISIS. Now, ISIS has been incredibly effective at recruiting via the internet, via social media. And so an ISIS fighter in Utah planning a, a backpack bomb in his school, uh, we're not sure if he's a student there, but I'm going to assume he was, in his school or a school, is every bit as much an ISIS fighter as the ones on the battlefield in Syria. It doesn't matter what your theater of terroristic operations is. It just matters that you're part of them and you did it. So this is, is every bit, every bit as serious a security breach as was Parkland. Parkland, of course, far more tragic because the attack was able to be carried out. And even here, I would argue the attack was able to be carried out. The bomb was left in the school. It was just unsuccessful and that it was found by alert students, police, their canines, they were able to safely remove it and no lives were lost. So outstanding job all around by the student, the faculty, and law enforcement in St. George, Utah. But this was still an attack. It was still successful insofar as the terrorist got the device of death to the intended soft target. But we're not talking about that. We're not going after these school administrators for another soft target because no gun was involved. But this does, however, raise some very uncomfortable but necessary constitutional questions. Questions about regulating guns being okay, but regulating Islam, which has killed thousands upon thousands upon thousands worldwide, not being okay to speak about. And I'm gonna be going very deep into that exact question on my longer show, 
off the cuff declassified a full hour we're going to be doing a very long segment on this today right here on the rebel this is very very important content we're going to be asking some very important and uncomfortable questions on my longer show off the cuff declassified and i'd love you to watch it so please subscribe to our premium service at www.therebel.media forward slash shows. Remember, go to our other URL, www.firescottisrael.com and sign our petition to have Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel removed from office by Florida Governor Rick Scott. We need to get serious about school safety. This is getting out of hand. Go to the App Store, whatever your app device is, download our Rebel app. Great way to get all of our content. As always, if you've done one or any of those things, thank you very, very much. I want you to do them all. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.